Little Garden by Lucy Richards. Buzz, buzz, bee flies around his hive. Ribbit, ribbit, frog croaks by the pond. Squelch, squelch, slug slides through the wet grass. Flitter, flutter, butterflies whiz amongst the flowers. It's another busy day in the garden. What bugs can you find in your garden? Hello, this is Jeffrey at the Williamson Road Public Library in Roanoke, Virginia and welcome to Wildflower Week. Today, one of the books we'll be reading is called Plants Can't Set Still by Rebecca Hirsch. Plants don't have feet or fins or wings, yet they can move in many ways. Look closely and you'll discover that plants can't set still. Plants can wiggle and seedlings start to grow. They squirm out of spring soil, unfold their leaves, and reach for the warmth and the light. Plants can creep. They slither underground or crawl through tall grass, searching for the things that all plants need. Water, sunshine, and room to grow. And as they search, plants can climb a fence or walk up a wall like behind us. Plants can hide from a hungry grasshopper or surprise a fly. Snap! Some plants sleep at night, leaves nodding, flowers folding. Others wake with the stars and lift their faces to the moon. Plants can tumble on a breeze whoosh, as they bounce along and sprinkle out. Plants even explode. They fling their seeds into the world to make new plants. A seed is a plant built for travel. Seeds can whirl like helicopters or float on parachutes or glide on papery wings, but they can't sit still. Seeds hitchhike on your sock or on a fox's bushy tail. They take a ride inside a bear. Seeds set sail, sploosh down the river, past swaying trees into the wide ocean, drifting, waiting for what all plants need, water, sunshine, and room to grow. When the seed finds a spot, the seedling squirms out and unfolds its leaves. It reaches for the warmth and the light, and it keeps on moving because Plants can't set still. The end. Thanks for joining us for Wildflower Week Storytime. We hope to see you back at the library soon. Hi, I'm Toby with Roanoke City Public Libraries here in Roanoke, Virginia. Today, we are going to read a story, The Bad Seed, by Jory John, illustrations by Pete Oswald. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble. There goes a bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? <laughs> Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. It's pretty bad. I never wash my hands or my feet. 
I lie about pointless stuff. And I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. Arr! I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Everything went dark and then a giant. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah! But it was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care, and it suited me. Until recently. I made a big decision. I decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Still, I forget to listen. And I still show up late. And I still talk during movies. And I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I also say thank you, and I say please, and I smile, and I hold doors open for people, not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking, maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I heard that. The end. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs>